me, there are three things. The first one is natural language, the ability to talk and ask a query in the same way that we converse with one another in rich, deep, contextually filled questions. The second thing is around now being able to include alternative mediums, audio and video to further enrich that search and maybe bring to life an area of the world that we've seen or a particular product that we want to engage with. And finally, it's AI overviews, the ability to summarize multiple pieces of information and make it digestible for us and bring the best content we can find to answer that question as simply as possible. So one of the prime areas that we see AI-powered search being utilized is across the retail sector, where we take our Google Cloud search for retail and help organizations understand the context and intent of every query, also enabling them to add in pictures or videos of either products they've seen and link that to the original search query. We combine that with Recommendations AI to ultimately help present the best quality search results and the best quality next best product for each and every retailer, ultimately having an increase in revenue or conversion ratio. I'm not sure about challenges, but there are definitely perceived challenges. A number of organizations feel that they have to have their data environment in perfect shape in order to adopt AI. And actually, quite the contrary is true. We're seeing lots of organizations that take a huge step forward in both progress and efficiency by starting to bring AI into their organization early and taking advantages of some of the capabilities that it brings, giving them extra headroom to go and tackle some of the bigger data challenges they might have. 